They had me in the waiting room, even though I was already in active labor. And it Seven months ago, Dinah Lee Rael feared the worst at a local hospital as she says she waited hours in pain to be assigned to a delivery room. Sorry, it's hard to talk about, but um, yeah, it was, it was a bad time um, at that hospital. She was expecting, but never an experience like this. Ida Lee is among the 56% of Georgia women whose pregnancies are covered through Medicaid. Medicaid even paid for her doula, the federal agency testing out a pilot program here in Georgia. From my own personal experience where I felt neglected and discriminated against, so having my doula to just ask a question like, do I have an option, do you think this is a good decision, um, was everything to me. In fact, she believes having the advocacy and assistance from her doula made her feel supported enough to leave that hospital. At another, Dinah Lee delivered baby KJ. Ready? Family's doula, <laughs> Zania Mathis. Her role, assist in creating a birthing plan, helping the family understand patient rights, physical training techniques and massages for discomfort, emotional support during pregnancy, and postpartum. That's all doulas are trying to do, just make sure that these families are taken care of, they're seeing their herd. Zaniah became a doula four years ago because of her own trauma during pregnancy. Data shows black expectant mothers are four times as likely as white women to suffer PTSD. And the disparities with negative outcomes do not stop there. The CDC found the rate of maternal mortality is four to five times greater for women of color. A statewide study by Healthy Mothers Coalition reveals contributing factors are not only pre-existing health conditions like asthma, diabetes, hypertension, but also a lack of access to quality care based on racial and economic inequities and even systemic racism within health care. So I actually spe specialize in working with the underprivileged. It's one of my passions. According to the Georgia Department of Public Health, parts of the state have not made significant improvement in its prenatal care. For instance, since 2016, every year in Atlanta, roughly 20% of all births had inadequate prenatal care, meaning few doctor visits or incomprehensive treatment. Hey, well, then, yeah, we could do it. It's why the uh, Healthy Mothers, Healthy Babies organization believes insured doula coverage could be critical. Having a doula is a necessity and not a luxury at all, especially if you are a black or brown birthing person. See, it's not that doulas replace nurses or replace doctors or want to be any of those things. It's an addition and an, an integral piece to the whole ecosystem. While data has been largely absent on doulas, new research by the National Institute of Health concluded expected mothers matched with a doula saw better birth outcomes than mothers without. Okay. Anna Lee feels her first year of motherhood is proof. In the healthcare system, it it's possible to feel pressured and to feel as if you don't have many options, especially as a woman of color. I'm grateful that she was there with me.